hundreds of children skated on a New York rink today. As CBS News correspondent Bob Schieffer reports, that's because of the kind of happy ending only children are supposed to believe in. In the ongoing saga of how to waste tax dollars, the Wallman Ice Rink in New York Central Park rates a special chapter, right up there with those $1,000 coffee pots the Pentagon once bought. The rink was finally reopened today. Well, I, I, we can't wait to get on the ice. Yeah, no argument from the grown-ups on that. The city had spent the last seven and a half years and $12 million on an exotic plan to remodel the rink. The whole project was finally abandoned last spring when the new cooling contraption wouldn't make enough ice to chill a six-pack. It involved, I think, 23 miles of plastic pipe through which the Freon would go. Never been done before. They were going to try it. They tried it. Did not work. In desperation, the city turned the project over to this man, flamboyant real estate tycoon Donald Trump. Trump said he was so tired of looking at the mess the city had made, he agreed to take the job for no profit. He not only finished it under budget, he finished it in three and a half months. I really wanted to prove a point. The cities, New York City in particular, but the cities are so wealthy, if we could only save the money that we're wasting. The debacle illustrates what can happen at all levels of government when red tape and bidding regulations designed to protect taxpayers sometimes work against them. When the uh, people uh, bid, we wouldn't take the best designer and uh, contractor who does uh, ice rinks. We would take uh, the one who says uh, that he can do it at the lowest bid, and he may be the very worst. One, two, three. At any rate, a chastened cot promised reform and announced new plans for Donald Trump. I am now renting him out to other cities. <laughs> and if they don't take him, there's always that office that buys coffee pots for the Pentagon. Bob Schieffer, CBS News, New York. And that's the CBS Evening News. Until our coverage of...